Well, Pennsylvania State Police say the family of a Nashville area woman found murdered along Interstate 90 last fall can finally have some closure tonight. The crime was discovered last November 10th when firefighters were called to put out a brush fire. Erie News Now Lisa Adams joins us now and Lisa solving the crime in this case didn't mean making an arrest. Well, good evening. That's right. It turns out the prime suspect that state police here developed, Syracuse trucker Lamont Bland, was killed in an officer-involved shooting in Indianapolis when police there say he was holding a woman in his truck cab and threatening to kill her. It was just a matter of connecting the dots. Pennsylvania State Police started their investigation at ground zero, not knowing who the murdered woman found in the brush fire on the side of I-90 was, where she came from, or who killed her. But their work led them to Nashville. The biggest takeaway from this investigation was uh, nose to the grindstone. We pounded the pavement and really went out, interviewed uh, dozens of individuals on the streets of Nashville. They learned the woman stabbed to death was Michelle Lee Taze of Nashville, and after lots of interviews, they began developing a prime suspect named Lamont Bland from another woman who claimed he victimized her. She said that Lamont Bland was an individual that she had ran into previously and had a bad encounter with him, and she, so we started running down that avenue, and that's how we came across his incident in Indianapolis. Then they connected the dots to this officer-involved shooting in Indianapolis. 201 250, we need to force entry into this semi. I got a Metro police here. responding to a call for screams coming from a white semi truck. When the man inside, now confirmed as Bland, refused to release the woman and come out, I'm gonna cut her throat. they battered their way into the truck, fatally shooting the suspect and taking the woman to safety. For six hours I've been going through this. These guys have beat me for six hours. And working from cell and GPS data, police say they now believe the suspect who died in that white truck while threatening to harm another woman was the man wanted in the Erie County homicide. The family and us as well, we're, we're happy that we have closure knowing that the suspect is no longer out on the loose and the family was also very grateful that we had closure for this case altogether. That they knew who uh, their mother's killer was. A sad conclusion, but closure, yes. Trooper Conroe said that it took months of work to begin to unravel this mystery and a lot of cooperation between multiple police departments. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.